Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. I'm an Illustrator CC 2018, and this one I'm going to show you how to create dash lines. And these are really, really popular on things like maps, where you're showing the direction that you've driven in, or you've walked in, or something like that. Um, this came up in a comment on one of my videos, saying they could create lines no problem, but they weren't sure about how the dashes work. So, it's pretty simple, but let me show you how to do it. Here's the easiest way I find, if you want to work along, just go ahead and go File New, Create a new document of any size and just work along with me. So I tend to go to the pen tool, I'm going to left click on it and then I'm going to start drawing my line but before I do that please note that I have no fill so I click on that and it's set to none and for this demonstration I've got a stroke of 8 pixels and it's in white so you guys can use whatever colors you want and uh, let's just go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go from Vancouver down here to say Dee's Lake and we're going to take a, a crazy route. So let's just go. I'm going to click here and I'm going to say I hit Whistler and maybe I do a little bit of a turny wurney there and then I hit Lillooet and then I hit Quinnell and we go, which way do you want to go? That way? Yeah, we go that way up to Quinnell, Burns Lake, Smithers and I'm just doing this real quickly here guys to show you how this works and then Dee's Lake. All right, and I'm just pulling out some handles. Perfect. Okay, so step one, and then I'm just going to click off of that. So you're going to see that we've got this little, you know, line here. It ain't real pretty, but I want to create it into a dash line, kind of like you would be driving. So what you want to do is you want to click on Stroke here in your Properties panel. Make sure you're on Properties. Left click on Stroke, and then drop down, and then where you see Dash Line, it should probably, for you, it won't be clicked in all probability click on it and now we can go ahead and start setting up what's called the dash and the gap so the dash length I'm gonna go with well let's just try oh geez what did I just do let's try that again Curtis come on um, I'm gonna re-click back on my path part of me I clicked off of it uh, and I'm gonna go with a dash length of let's say starting with 10 pixels 10 px I'm gonna tab over and I'm gonna do a gap length of 10 pixels and see what happens okay boom that looks pretty good, right? You just take a look at that, and you know what? Maybe that's what you're looking for. Um, if you want to, of course, go in and change that up, you can make it into, like, let's try 20 pixels. Okay, that looks good. And let's try 5 pixels. Okay, those are a little bit too tight for probably what I would be going with. But you know what? You guys get the point here. Is This is how you can go ahead and create dash lines real simple. I'm also going to show you how to do a couple other things here while I got you, in case you're interested. Um, in particular, I'm going to create arrowheads at the end of these things. So what you can do is if you want to go down a little further, is you can click on arrow and you're going to see that, okay, well, geez, that's going outwards, right? But we're actually going from Vancouver up to Dee's Lake or wherever the hell we're going. So I'm going to go ahead and I've got the arrow selected, but I'm going to change that swap start and end arrowheads by clicking this button. Now I'm going to click out and I'm going to go up and you're going to see that, hey, you know, there's an arrowhead here at the end and it basically indicates that we have gone down this path. Guys, this is really, really, I know, simple stuff, but hey, you know what? We all got to learn sometime. Uh, the other thing I will show you is you can actually change the caps as well. In this situation, if you go in and you look real closely, you're going to see that they're basically like little mini rectangles. But if you want like a circular end, you can change the cap from the butt cap, <laughs> that's a great word, to a round cap. And if you look at it that way, I'm just going to click out because it doesn't really zoom in, you're going to see that I've gone ahead and made them kind of more, you know, circular, more a little bit, I don't know, a little bit neater if you ask me. Of course, this has brought these together a little bit closer. So if you really want to get picky, you might want to increase the size of the gap or decrease the gap, whatever you're looking for, 15 pixel gap. Boom, perfect. Now we've got some rounded out little, uh, the, some rounded cylinder type looks here, guys, going up here on a map. It's pretty much perfect, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or if there's anything you want to learn, just let me know. I'll be back soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.